I've come to Scotland in search of the finest wild deer for my delicious new dish. One that deserves a place on any Indian menu. Venison masala. I'm hunting with Mobarak Jan, who regularly stalks deer up here. Most Indian restaurants use halal meat, and I'm keen to know how wild venison can be halal. Mo's a Muslim hunter, and he's going to show me how he does it. What was it attracted you? Well, why? Why do you want to start shooting? Well, it's mainly really sort of um, the sort of hunter-gatherer kind of thing, you know, uh -huh. shooting for your own food, yeah. taking it home, taking some venison home, and uh, cooking it up and having beautiful food. Joining us is Jim McCurlin, who's going to help us track down a deer. If you spot one and I haven't seen it, just go, Psst. and that's all. Psst. I'll hear it, yeah? Don't okay. point at it. Don't point, don't raise any hands. Are we ready? Let's go. I was born ready. But deer are elusive creatures and incredibly difficult to shoot. And what could spook him? Noise, scent. After two hours, Jim spots our first deer. See those tall trees up there? Yes. He's just out. He's just come out. Here he comes. He's running along the bottom. Fuck, I still can't see him. There he is. Top left. See him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just as I'm getting ready to take the shot, I lose it. Gordon, that deer won't be coming back now. Little bastard, come back. Next day, we set off again, but the deer always seemed to be one step ahead of us. Finally, after several hours of hard slog, Jim spotted a roe deer. Look, he's side on. Come on, let's go. No, stay there. I can't see him now. Okay. He's in the dark. Wait, he turned sideways, Gordon. Safety off? No. Yeah. I follow up with a second shot. He's dead. Yeah, quite a strange feeling to be with, isn't it? Yes. Oh. But when you've got it in your sights like that, your heart's just beating, beating, Absolutely. beating, beating. Yeah. Big deep breath. They call it buck fever. Then it's time for Mo to show me how he makes sure his deer is halal. As well as saying a prayer when he pulls the trigger, he slits the throat in a special way. What I would do yeah. to make it halal, yeah. you used to repeat the prayer, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. And that's it? That's it. One swift back and forth. That's the main thing with halal. The knife has to be razor sharp. We do it this way to get all the blood out the carcass, uh -huh. um, just so it's nice and clean. Well done, Gordon.